Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. In today's episode we're going to take a little look at a Mountfield lawnmower that I've got in. Uh, I've got it from the old recycle centre um, that the bloke sells and uh, picked it up and um, it's a Mountfield with an SV200 lump on it and done a carb clean on it, just, just, a, just a sort of quick little carb clean, try and get it going, but however it hunts like an absolute pig and I mean it hunts. And uh, it runs sort of fine on choke, but uh, I just cannot get it to run fine at all. Um, the carbs been figured out with Sonic Cleaner, it's been cleaned manually, and all my normal tricks and tricks of the trade have not made an ounce of difference. So, today, um, I managed to pick up this the other week, and uh, this has turned up today or yesterday. And this is a LHP 19 copy carburetor. I'm hoping it's going to fit. Uh, it was six pounds. Six pounds? Um, if this gets this lawnmower up and running, I'm quids in. Uh, for six quid, I would buy 25 of these. It's as simple as that. Um, from what I think already, I think the, I might have to adjust the throttle. I think the throttle has got a spring on it. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to have a look into that. But that's no biggie. I can just remove the butterfly and get around that. But um, let's take her outside. We'll have a look at the, uh, the mount field that's hunting. Um, as I say, it's got SV200 on, the, on there, and it's got a four-speed um, drive on it as well. So it's not commercial grade, but it's got a four-speed drive on it as well. So um, it should sell pretty well um, if uh, someone wants quite a quick little rough cutting mower. So that's the idea. It's I've got a bit of paint flaking on it, but it'll do. It'll do the job. If um, if I decide that it wants a bit more work, I'll take the engine off and uh, I'll strip the deck down and respray it. But um, at the moment, it might just sell as it is. Um, I didn't get it for a lot of money, so therefore, you know, if it just as long as it turns a profit, I'm happy with that. So, if this is the first time you're watching Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way, you'll be told one done a video or two of them on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6:30 p.m. UK time. So, without further ado, let's get down on dirty and let's check out this Manfield lawnmower with a hunting carburetor. Right, so I have literally just finished cutting the lawn with the old um, Atco Balmoral um, 17SE just a leather. Uh, that's running absolutely beautiful at the moment. So happy with that. But uh, this is the one we're working on today. A little mount field. Uh, it's got a bit of paint flaking on the front. I think it had a carburetor, a carburetor leak at some point in its life. I think so. I think it's happened to it. Um, here it is. Um, I've had it all running. But uh, it hunts, as I said, a bit of paint flake on the top. Let me show you, because I have, have a new device on my GoPro now, which allows me just literally just to unclip you. And you can come for a wander. How good is that? So happy with that as a Christmas present. So a uh, bit of paint flake in there, as you can see. Um, it's not horrendous, but it, it, it might affect the sound. That's the worst part of the, of the whole lawnmower. Comes with a four speed um, drive as well, which is cool. Mrs. P's over there. Hi, Mrs. P. There she is. She's uh, chilling out. Swimming pool's up. We've got uh, Auntie Shell coming around in a bit for a cup of tea slice of cake because it's uh, Brandon's birthday and uh, she's come around to say hello as well, which is nice. But I like my quick release feature on me tripod. So that's cool. Um, I'll fire it up. So you see what it's doing. It should start. There's a fuel in there. I've not been working on it for about a week. I'm right out of fuel too, I've got no fuel left, it's done repair. Yeah, there's fuel in there, enough for task. So you'll see it runs fine on choke, but as soon as I take it off a choke, it don't want to know. as far as we've got um it is actually running a bit better than what it was the other day it was really hunting and surging a lot um but uh i don't know if it even start off of choke no just it's got a miss and also if you front it down it should idle and it cuts out so it's got all that going on with it so let's get it up on a bench and all i'm hoping to do is take the carburetor off put a new carburetor on and see if that improves it any Right, got your zoom right in for comfort. 
Um, got my carby. Now I am right out of fuel, so I need a bit careful there. No fuel, no fuel spillages. I need to go down the shop and get some more. Oh. So new carby is there. This is what the air filter looked like. Air filter looks good. So someone has you know, either looked after it or recently, recently had a service to a degree. Let's get a 10 mil on an impact. Pardon me. And we're gonna remove, all I wanna do is remove a carb. I'm hoping for a six pound fix. Now, if this proves to be successful, then we can all go forward and buy some of these, which will replace the LHP uh, 19 carb. Now, as I said to you, the, the only one thing I can see that there is different is I believe the spring on this one here, it has, yeah, this throttle's got a spring on it. Okay, so I'm gonna need to take that off of there, put that onto there, that's what I think I'm gonna do. But before I do any of that, I need to make sure that this car is actually gonna fit the machine. Because at the moment, there's no guarantees. It may be the wrong carb, and this video may all be for nothing. So let me find a set of forceps, which I did have out just the other day. I need a new set of forceps. So I've only got one pair now. I had three pairs. I had three pairs of, of these sneaky little gits, but I've only got one now. There's an old pair up here. Oh, there's an old pair up here. That's a small set though. It's not the set I want. I need to get some new forceps. Let's clamp that off, if that'll hold. It may not like holding, and we'll see. Right, so that's in there. And we're gonna literally twist this fuel line off without breaking it, hopefully. As I say, this carb might actually be the wrong carb, okay, and might be no good at all. But wouldn't it just be a thing if you can buy an LHP 19 carburet, copy carburetor for six quid? Wouldn't that be an absolute doozy? I would love that. <clears throat> so we've got to remove that spring, we've got to remove that governor arm, and then this choke, you need to sort of offer it out as it comes and this choke will slide off of this arm here. It's a bit fiddly fiddly, but like that. That lifts up, put that choke arm back. Like so. Right, let's have a quick little inspection. So, uh, looking at it, uh, we've got a choke with a spring, choke with a spring, happy with that. We've got a fuel intake, fuel intake, slow needle valve there. We've got an adjustment on this one, not on this one. And this one here has no flap and this one here does. Now, that governor spring will, on its own, pull that back anyway. But what I might do, is I might just remove this little tiny spring off of here and fit it onto there. They both look the same, ish. Does it actually fit on the, on the prongs? Yeah, it do. Right, okay, let's do that. So, I wanna set it up like for like, because otherwise it, it may not, it just may not work. So I want a Phillips screwdriver. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the throttle shaft out of this one. Little tiny Phillips head. That comes out. And then there will be a little tiny, 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 tiny little butterfly spring in there. And what I'm looking for is one of my picks. Now I need to sort this drawer out, because this drawer is slowly becoming one of my old drawers that I used to have, and uh, it's starting to do my head in. Um, I haven't, as of yet, finished my toolbox. I'm still, it's still work in progress. My other picks are down here. Let's choose a decent pick. Uh, you will do perfect. So I've still got a bit of work to do on the old toolbox yet, but <laughs> finance and what have you. So that should now pull that little butterfly clip out. That should now give me this um, this throttle um, shaft. So it goes one behind, the tail goes behind the slow running jet round and up over top of the arm, okay? So we take that off, like so. We take the spring off, gently. Put that back together. Put that over there for now, out of the way come back to that maybe a bit later on. Don't you know, amigos. So we'll keep that there. 
new carby. And again, we've got another, another um, Phillips to remove here. There's a possibility it, it, it would work without it, but I just want to make it as, as original as I can. There goes a butterfly. Now, that a lift up. Careful, careful, Mick. Now that little arm, that goes up like that, and that sat on there like that. And then, whoop, like that. That goes back into play. And then that sat just literally underneath that slow running jet, just there. That went onto there. That went onto there. That sat down. And that also fully rotate around that post. Sit back down. And that sit there. That's how it went like that. So now we can fit our butterfly back in. And these will only go one way, people. So make sure you get it right. It goes. I think that's right. Get my little tiny screw. Watch me drop this. Watch me, watch me drop it. That's it. All right. That's all in place. I want to screw that. Back into there. Did that move? That was too tight. So that, that butterfly is not quite right. I might want to manoeuvre it with a pick or something just so I can change it around. It only goes one way, these, these butterflies, so just make sure you get it around the right way. All of a sudden, it just plop into place. Isn't it funny how it come out of there, but now I don't want to go back in. Uh, let's go, is that one on the shaft? You would like to think that would go back into there, wouldn't you? I know I just put a carburetor on a dirty surface, I know that. You'd think they're just sitting there, wouldn't you? I'd like to come back to you once I've got it in, but it would only go one way. And it come out of the hole, so why don't I go back in there? That's the same one that come out. This is going to take up 45 minutes of a video. in there lush that one that don't go that way it's got to rotate it's almost as if um it's getting caught so that feels pretty good there i bet you a pound that ain't right what i normally do with these is i get my chainsaw file out and i just gently file them off slightly oh, that's moving oh. now I've lost my spring right okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally I think either change it out for the original one which may be a touch smaller yeah it goes in with a lush we we'll go for that it's a touch smaller but it's going to do the same thing how much smaller is your you're quite a bit smaller actually so you can tell by the shaft it goes that way but there's quite a few rough edges on there. That's not that's not absolutely brilliant. So let me get my chainsaw file. <coughs> and we do a bit of manipulation. Oh, 
chainsaw file. And all I'm going to do is just going to clean the edges up. It's for six pound. The machining is not going to be brilliant anyway. So all I'm going to do is just literally take some of his edges off. Cure it. He says, Oh, that's gone in there now. I don't think it's around the right way, though. I think it wants to go around the other way. At least we can get it sat into place. Oh, that screw's gone in. Yep. Now I'm dropping all the bits. <clears throat> I'm about to edit some of this out. So I think it wants to go that corner in first, like that. Let's put that corner in first. And then we can put the screwdriver in. Wherever my screwdriver went in it, Andrew. Right, that feels like it's gone in a bit better. It wants to go in on the right hand side of the carb first, I think. Screw that in now, see what we get. It's screwing down. Yeah, now we're there. Right, so it goes in at an angle, slight angle, okay? Angle by dangle. Let's screw that in. There, right, so now we've got the spring in place, which is exactly the same as the other one, so the correct amount of tension, okay? Got a gasket already on there. We want to hook up the choke first, and then as we as we manipulate the carburetor into place, you want to connect your choke up first, and then it will just slide in with a bit of a bit of therapeuticness. In that goes. And then put the governor arm back on. And then the governor spring back on. So at the moment, everything is looking right for a replacement for the LHP 16 and uh, 19 carburetor. You can find them on eBay. Just had to diagnose which is the right, the right looking carby. Let's choke it. Yeah, fully chokes, which is good. So that all works. We can now get our gasket. Uh, just that way. That all fits. It's looking good. I must admit, I didn't think it had gone quite as easy as this, despite the fro despite the throttle flap. Uh, air crankcase breather. I might want a bit of a tune, possibly. That all goes on. There we're winning. Six pound carby. You can't beat that if that's going to work. Okay. Right. We're happy with that, that, and that. Put my chainsaw file back because that don't, that don't live in that drawer. It lives somewhere else. Need to get on and finish my toolbox at some point. Uh, we release the fuel. Check for leakages. Air filter back on. So, a four speed box on this, or four speed belt driven box, this would be lush. Right, no fuel leaks. So, meet you outside. Um, and we go for um, a fire up again to see if we haven't now fixed this because it, it was just wasn't running quite right. Uh, the plug's good, 
but it, last time it was really hunting and surging massively. And I've been waiting for this carburetor to come in before doing it with it. So hopefully we've now, we've now fixed that with a bit of luck. I'm not sure that's working as it should do. Yeah, that's all working. There's nothing getting involved there. Good, right. So we're choking it and we're idling. That's good, right. Right, outside, fire up, see what happens. Right, let's get it out then. So what I did have to do, uh, one thing I had to do was the fuel line that was on the original carb was too small, uh, sorry, too big. So I had to um, get a slightly smaller piece of fuel line in diameter. Okay, that's all I had to do. Um, when I went to hook up, hook up the fuel, it, um, it just fell off, so. But that's that, no fuel leaks. We've got should have fuel going down now. On the choke, let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Can you believe it? That's right down as far as it'll go. It's idling. It picks up. It goes on to choke. Now this is what I want it for, you see. First gear, nice and slow. That's for you uh, older people. And for us youngsters, top gear, and away you go. So now we have an SV 200 engine fully working. This machine cost me 20 pound, okay? The carburetor cost me six pound off of uh, eBay, which is a direct replacement for the LHP 19. Um, and it works, A1. This machine we're now going to have a full service and um, I've got a grass box for it. That's up top of the garden, I can see it from here. Um, so now, yeah, I've got a fantastic little lawnmower for 26 pound, all in. You tell me all it's worth. Let me know in the comment section what you think it's worth. And if, it, if you think it's worth buying cheap copy carburetors off of eBay, let me know in the comment section as well. I'll be interested to know your thoughts because I know that some people would say OEM all the way, but do you know what? Six quid, you can't argue that. If it, start, if it starts, of course. Okay, so there you have it. Um, one cheap Chineseium copy carburetor for the LHP19, which goes on the SV150, not to be confused with the LHP16, which goes on the SV150 or RV150. Um, a direct replacement for six pounds. Uh, let me know in the comments section what you think. Is it worth doing? Because in my opinion, do you know what? If you have to buy one of those a year to get you through the season, that's six pound a year. Six pound a year to get to keep your machine up and running. You can't get a carburetor clean for six pound. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So, you know, had that been a custom machine, um, it would have been a, a carburetor clean price plus possible labor, minimum fee. And you could just, just whack a new carburetor straight on it, bish bash bosh, up and running. So let us know in the comments section what you think about that um, carburetor because I will be really interested in your thoughts. If you like this episode of Mixed Mowers, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6 30 pm at UK time. Don't forget the only one other thing you have to do on that carburetor is you have to remove the throttle um, um, butterfly and shaft and take that spring out of your of your original carburetor. You have to have that out. I think I may try it without it another day, but I'm because the governor does have a spring or a turn spring on it, but there is there is some tension to be had there. They wouldn't put it on there if you didn't need it. Um, so um, you have to do that as well. And I don't know where you can buy them spring, so don't ask me for a link for those because I don't know where they are. Um, so that's super super cool. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until people don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy.